side and I'm here with Peter from Runner Runner. Now we're in South Hackensack, New Jersey right now. They're opening for Rocket to the Moon and the tour unfortunately comes to an end tomorrow. How has the tour been going so far? The tour has been a dream come true. The shows have been outstanding, a great number of them being sold out, but moreover the people on this tour are amazing. Um, we, we were lucky in that we were some of them are old friends and then the the ones that we've come to know now, the guys in Ann Arbor for example, they're like the greatest guys ever. So it, it's a little sad to see come to an end, but I'm going to choose to think of it as a beginning. Now, you guys have been a part of a lot of tours, and you've been with a lot of the same bands over and over again. Who are some <coughs> bands that you guys are tight with? Love Go Radio. This is our second tour with them. Phenomenal up-and-coming band. They're a real live rock and roll band, which is rare in this day and age. Um, love Secondhand Serenade. Um, who else? Who else should be springing to mind but isn't? Hmm. White Tie Affair, although I have no idea where they are or what they're doing. Um, they might be giants. Now uh, if it, that about <laughs> sums it up. Sorry. Now, if you could create your own concert tour with you guys in it, who would be on the lineup for it? Um, does this involve us headlining or opening for someone else? Whatever you want. I'd like to open for the Foo Fighters and the Police. Understatement no. of the decade. Um, last year after we signed, we, we were invited to come and perform on Jimmy Kimmel Live in Los Angeles, which was a tremendous honor. It was just amazing to have all of our friends in California out at that show and our fans. And it was kind of the beginning of our, our touring odyssey that has basically ceased to finish yet. So it was kind of like a cool landmark. And then in September, we um, we came to New York City and played on The Late Show with David Letterman, which was just a total dream come true. Uh, we're also signed to Dave's record label, so it was kind of like a cool um, feeling of legitimacy to come and meet him and perform on his show and, and give a little back. So Did he ever give you any good advice? Um... Honestly, no, he didn't. He just said, great job, guys, which to me is, yeah, I mean, what what could make me more ecstatic? I don't know. Now, you guys are from California, and I'm going to California for the first time this summer. Where are some places that you recommend that I check out? In-N-Out Burger, obviously. Um, SoCal, NorCal, where are you going? I'll be in San Francisco and Los Angeles. You'll love San Francisco. Um, to any of you Northern Californians listening, you might not like this, but I'm going to go out there, uh, I'm going to go out on a limb and say as an East Coaster originally, that San Francisco is the most East Coast city on the West Coast. Um, it just re it has a great, tremendous diversity and cool history that reminds me of what it was like growing up on the East Go to the park, have a picnic, see some museums, there's so much to do. You'll never, it's an inexhaustible city. Um, down south, go to the beach. Definitely. I'll definitely be doing that. <laughs> Huntington Beach. It's where the town we call home, and it's gorgeous. Now, uh, we're in New Jersey right now, and I'm from the Jersey Shore, so I always have to ask this. Do you like the Jersey Shore of the show? Love. I actually met Snooky's dad over the holidays. He was a charmer. Wow. And uh, <laughs> we have a, there's an early poster for, for the uh, Runner Runner album that features Ryan with kind of like a blown out haircut. And sometimes people see that when we tell them he's from New Jersey. They're like, hey, you kind of look like Paulie D. So we're kind of uh, perpetuating this myth that he's actually Polly T's brother. Now, when you guys are on tour, where is the one place that you guys can't wait to visit? Um, New York City is always great. Chicago is great. Um, we were just in Pittsburgh, and we love visiting Pittsburgh. People are awesome. The food's awesome. The city's great. It, it's a weird feeling when the nation starts to feel like your neighborhood. Because it's really vast, and there are so many great places to visit, and also a whole lot of nothing. So I just really look forward to the whole enterprise altogether. How do you guys stay in contact with families? I know relationships might be strained while you're on the road for so long. Do you guys Skype? Are you texters? How do you do that? You are correct in your assumption. Relationships are definitely strained, and we get lonely and homesick. The internet is a savior. Yeah, 
digital revolution has been our salvation. We get to talk to our families whenever we want, basically. Now, what do you guys bring on tour to keep you guys occupied when you're on the road? And what are some of your like saving graces that have? Uh, we like to write songs constantly. We have a little mobile recording set up in the back. Um, I'm always kind of working on my photography and integrating that into our social networking. Um, just keeping up with fans online and trying to trying to stay rested and healthy. Now, what's a daily schedule for you guys like? That varies. Uh, I kind of have two schedules. In one of them, I sleep till noon, get up, usually take a bird bath, which involves climbing into a sink and getting wet. Um, then after that, I'll get dressed and uh, go online, see what's going on, and just gradually prepare for the day, try and strum my guitar some, maybe record some song ideas. <clears throat> and then we have our show. And, um, you know, we spend the rest of the night visiting with everyone at the show and, and we're enjoying the other bands. The other schedule involves um, radio promo or other activities that happen early in the morning. Sometimes we do morning shows on TV or just other events, and so we'll have to get up early, early like 6 o'clock in the morning and then start then. But either way, work is uh, fuel for the soul. Now, you guys are very fan-oriented. Have you ever had any weird fan experiences or maybe anything that's just uh, very memor memorable? Um... I actually received a heartbreaking fan letter uh, just yesterday um, from a girl who, like a, a surprising number, says that our music has helped her through tough times. And uh, that's just like the most amazing feeling to, and, and it's extremely gratifying to know that people are turning to our music for inspiration when they're having, you know, a dark trial in their life, a dark period. But uh, I guess this this person in particular lost her little sister. Um, and then her home was destroyed in a flood, and there are just so many things that can go wrong in the, in the world. It's a harsh place, however beautiful it is. So it's good to know that we were able to shine a light for people in need. <laughs> released your album earlier this year um, you guys released a call to arms letter to the fans mm -hmm. about the album and it had a lot to do with illegal downloading what are your thoughts on that my thoughts are that illegal downloading is inevitable um, and to be perfectly honest even though I hope the label doesn't hear me say this or see this video which they probably will I have participated in illegal downloading and I encourage our fans to share our music with one another when people buy our record, I ask that they please burn it for someone they love because I want everyone to hear our songs. Um, true music fans will find a way to sustain the artists that they they need to see and the, and the ones they love. Um, but on the flip side of the coin is the irreversible fact that the label needs to see the support of the fan base if they're going to support the band. So that was kind of the gist of that letter and the intent there. We really wanted to just have a very open, forthcoming presentation of where we stand with our music. We want everyone to know that, yes, our, we're here for you. We, we're going to have more songs than we can fit on our record, and we're going to give them away for free, gladly. But we need your support that first week so that the label knows that we have a great community going. And, you know, we're a very family-oriented band. We like our, our fans to feel like friends. And, uh, yeah, so that's why we did it. We're just trying to be honest. Yeah, I think it was very appropriate because it helped fans understand why you mm -hmm. guys need to do that. Okay, so you guys have Bamboozle coming up next weekend, which is a huge deal. There's mm -hmm. great performers playing. What can we expect, and who are you excited to see? I can't wait to see Bruno Mars. Uh, he's going to sing live, which is, uh, his voice is just so huge. Um, fans can expect, I don't know, just a whirlwind of fun. Let's just try and play as many songs as we can and sing at the top of our lungs and just enjoy the huge show. Hopefully sunshine as well. Oh, yeah. we Ray, played Ray in, would a, not be fun. in 2009 when we played Bamboozle, we, we, it was literally like a deluge, downpour, yeah. monsoon day. So we were soaked, but it was still fun. So sunshine would just put it over the top. Yeah, was that the No Doubt day? Because I think I yes. was there that day. Not fun. And it <laughs> finally stopped raining for No Doubt, and their show was insane. Yeah. Now, have you ever been to a concert before that's just inspired you, like, no doubt? Um, yes, actually. Uh, last no The last one that really uh, got me was um, 
a radio convention in Napa Valley last November, and I got to watch KT Tunstall, who's our label mate from Scotland, um, do just a solo show where she performed with a number of guitars and a, a looping station where she could record parts and then have them play back and then add layers. And she did a bunch of songs, both new and old, and I've been a longtime fan of hers. And uh, for such a, a small person, she just contains so much magic. I, I absolutely adore her. So that was a great, great thing, getting to see her perform. Now, what's coming up next for Runner Runner? Endless Tour. Um, we're going to do a run of intimate acoustic shows in May, um, just to, uh, to get back and to ensure that we can really hang out with everyone who wants to come see us again after this last tour, and uh, just keep writing music. Um, we're doing a run with Good Charlotte and Yellow Card in June, which is going to be mind-blowing. And after that, I'm sure there will be more. We're not stopping anytime soon. Now, what are your hopes for Runner Runner for the future? My hopes for Runner Runner are to delight the masses. Um, I want to write better songs. I want to have better shows. I want to meet new people. And I want to inspire everyone and be inspired by them in turn. Everyone, please check out Runner Runner online www.facebook.com slash runner runner tweet us at runner runner our website's runnerrunnermusic.com send us your love your wishes your concerns criticisms anything we want to hear it all we love you <laughs>